Me neither. Alright. I learned not to wear makeup when Supergirl airs, so... Oh yeah, that's true. I cried every single episode so far, so I'm like, eh, I see a pattern. So Maybe I'm not gonna do it anymore. Shook. Hi, I'm Christy. I'm Brianna. And this is Ruby, Volume Five, Episode No, Volume Five, Chapter Three. Volume Five, Chapter Two. Lots of fucking issues. And honestly, I know you guys are keeping up with the whole <sighs> reacting to Rooster Teeth. This volume has been a nightmare because everyone everyone's videos get taken down not by rooster teeth but by uh, youtube it's like an automated thing and so it's honestly it's not just me there's literally every reactor that i've talked to that reacts to ruby has this problem and so um i got chapter one up and i for some reason, I was having much more difficult time with chapter two. And then by the time it actually went up again, it took out my audio. And so there was no audio with it. Like, okay, what the fuck weird. is that? And then so, my dumbass, I already deleted everything, so I can't re-edit it. I'm like, okay, well, there goes chapter two. It wasn't that interesting. Like, the ending of chapter, chapter two, two, the ending of chapter two reaction was awesome <laughs> that was me reacting to adam and um, oh yeah and of course the reveal of raven finding uh weiss and so yeah i apologize but you're not gonna see chapter two if you did get to see chapter two before it got taken down congratulations you're one of the lucky few but it's not coming back because i physically can't get it back i don't know what happened with youtube and this is probably gonna take another shit ton time to get this one up because I know as soon as I upload it, it's going to get taken down again, and I have to fight again, and it's just, ugh, it's very frustrating. So, do, are the, is YouTube just taking it down because, like, it's airing on Rooster Teeth before it's airing on YouTube, and no. so YouTube doesn't want it up before the actual episode airs no, on YouTube? No, because it's on YouTube right now. Okay. No, one, no so reactor. Dumb. All That's... the reactors I talk to, they upload it after it goes to YouTube. If it, you upload it before YouTube, then Rooster Teeth takes it down. But so it's not do Rooster have... Teeth at all. It's Rooster, It's YouTube. Do we have a reason that YouTube is taking them down? The reason for the chapter one, like, they'll take, say, like, a certain section of the actual episode and be like, hey, this content, bye. And it's, like, random. It's honestly random why they take this down. That's it's an so automated weird. thing. And so, yeah, Rooster Teeth supposedly said they were trying to fix it because their uh, email system or whatever that they do this through like blows up every week because it happens and Rooster Teeth encourages reactions mm -hmm. and so it's a hassle for them. They said they were trying to fix it but then when the episode aired today everyone's still having problems. Yeah. Like Anthony Knight had problems and Torture Boy had problems mm -hmm. and so yeah it's just and it's random too like one week Jordan's doesn't get taken down but the next mm -hmm. week his does and then same with Murder of Birds like it's that's really it's odd. honestly random. Yeah that's super weird. But the fact that both of ours got taken down <laughs> YouTube. Lame. It's very frustrating, but it's what we're gonna we do, do our best for you. Do what we gotta do. Oh, a joke I made in last reaction that no one could see anymore because it got taken down Whoa. was I saw an edit of Sun Whoa. and um, Blake, uh -huh. and it was a miraculous ladybug edit. And it's like, oh, it's oh. this time a miraculous ladybug. I'm like, ah. that sounds so cute. Yes. That's like perf. I fucking love Miraculous Ladybug. Yeah. Nice. Me. <laughs> Guys, I'm in Ruby. Yep. I'm the mother of Grimm. I did it. Son.
Thank you all for assembling here. I wanted to take time to address some of the rumors that have been circulating around our island. I believe that it is important for the people of this territory to understand the truth. No matter how you feel about the human race, I think we can all agree that the event now known as the Fall of Beacon was a tragedy. A tragedy that will set both man and Faunus kind back. While the main aggressor is still unknown, we do have official confirmation that Adam Taurus, the leader of a powerful splinter group working inside the White Fang, was partially responsible for these attacks. His actions not only tarnished the reputation of an organization originally created to bring peace and equality to all, but to our entire race. With each day that this man remains unpunished, it becomes increasingly difficult to condemn those that look down upon us. Get those people in front. Recently, a spy from this same Splinter Group set their sights on this very home. My own daughter, Blake, and her friend did their very best to apprehend this individual. While they were unsuccessful after being physically assaulted and seriously injured, they were successful in obtaining the assailant's scroll. With this, we have been able to ascertain that Adam Taurus has plans to overthrow the current leader of the White Fang, oh. Sienna Khan, and take over the reins himself. Oh, foiled! 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 Sorry, I love, I love you, Adam, but like, there. you know, you kill the documents on this scroll Yeah, the he next already did that. Yeah. Again, and it's attached CCT tower. Their plan is to strike on the last full move before <laughs> the beginning of the fall semester. Roughly two months from today. Is that already done? This messenger to the government of Mistral. But I believe we have a greater responsibility. My relationship with the White Fang has been an interesting one. Years ago, I led the organization to help try and create a world where I and every Faunus who wished could walk alongside the human race. And while I believe we made great strides toward this goal, it was made clear to me that the people both in and out of the White Fang wanted faster results. So I stepped down, and Sienna Khan was appointed as my successor. It's true that I do not fully condone many of her methods. What I do condone is what Sienna fights for. The idea that the Faunus and humans are, and should be, equal. Adam Taurus does not seem to have that goal in mind. What he has done benefits no one but himself. I think it's time that the Faunus showed the world that we are equals. Time that we snuff out this splinter root and restore the White Fang to what it once was. Yes. I am on board with that idea. I do not know how you will to do, do it, this, but yes. I think the answer is clear. We must go to Haven and protect it at <coughs> all costs! They're like, oh, maybe not, though. <laughs> Before we proceed any further, I'd like to invite my daughter to come and share her story. Not only as a former member of the White Fang, but also as a survivor of the Fall of Beacon. What? Oh, bitch. Uh-oh. Ilya. Cowards. After everything the humans have done to us, everything they've put us through, you're asking us to help them? I know we haven't been treated fairly. Where was their help when the dust companies treated our people like slaves? Where was their help when kingdoms hunted Faunus just for being who they are? Where was my help when my parents were killed in a dust mine? Where? Young lady, progress takes patience and cooperation. The Belladonnas are the worst kind of Faunus. They want us to work with the same people that are trying to hold us down. If you truly, truly want to help your people, oh, no. now is the time to support Adam, not the Belladonnas. Honey, he shut will up. bring about the future that you deserve. And if you are unwilling to fight, know that the White Fang will do it for you! Shut up! <laughs> After her! 
bitch. Why is no one going after her? He's possessed or reincarnated. Oh, isn't it weird? <laughs> it is very weird, yes. Oh, okay. So cute. okay. Let's all just take a second and remember that this is very overwhelming for everyone. <laughs> Especially him. I love them. Yep. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, we probably shouldn't be treating this kid like a lab rat. Oh? Uh, sorry. It's just, I've never really met huntsmen and huntresses before. Oh, he's well, so cute. Uh, we've adorable. never met a person with two souls, so first time's all around. I love her. With every fiber of my being. <laughs> She's so adorable. Not to break up the whole getting to know you game, but we need to have a talk. Uh -huh. Mind showing us your little parlor trick, kid? Oh, I'm ready. Uh, yeah, okay. Just so you know, I'll still be here. I like this. Yeah, okay. Hi, Oz! Oh. Ha! It's so very good to see you again, students. Oh my god. This is so cool. Wait, what just happened? Professor... Oz? Oz? Yep. Correct. And though I may be the one speaking, Oscar is still present mentally. He's merely handed over the controls, so to speak. Just don't make us do anything embarrassing. I'm afraid this all must be very perplexing. Dude, it's totally like Yu-Gi-Oh! Sorry, it just really kind of hard to believe overall. Oh, Nora. <laughs> it's good to see you children still have your sense of humor. It's like I know you've all been through tremendous hardship already. I'm sorry. I mean, it's not your fault. <laughs> I just watched Dark Side Dimensions. I'm it's fucked up, Christy. Oh, hon, I'm, I'm sorry. I told you once that I made more mistakes than any man, woman, and child on this planet. And I wasn't exaggerating. I'm cursed. For thousands of years, I have walked the surface of remnant, living, dying, and reincarnating body of a like-minded soul. Oh. The Professor Ospin you all met was not my first form. Oh, wow. And clearly wasn't my last. It's an extraordinarily strenuous process on everyone involved. Wow. So who? What? Who are you? I am the combination of countless men who have spent their lives trying to protect the people of Remnant. With every rebirth, my soul is eventually merged with another, and I am changed, but my memories stay with me. This curse was bestowed upon me by the gods, because I failed to stop Sigma in the past. But we must stop her now. We will. And how do we do that? We start... By ensuring the safety of the relic of knowledge. Oh god! And where is that? With Raven. Oh, that's right. Okay. Why is this gonna be like, why am I in a dirty cage? <laughs> Where's the pilot? Well, well, well. <laughs> Look who's awake. <laughs> oh shit. Bandits. Hot bandits. What? Exactly. What's going on? Dancing the guy in the banana. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ugh, I thought he wanted to want the scar. She doesn't have a scar. Yeah, he does have a scar, but I want the other one. Fine. So what's her relationship with Cinder? I don't know. What do you want? Because they were together. Straight to the point. I like it. In the intro. We don't normally deal in trafficking people. Not really worth our time. But once we realized we had a schnee, that changed. 
Mm. You're going to ransom me back to my father. Is that it? It's a shame you're a shnee. You'd probably do quite well around here. I would never seek to your level. Ooh. Just keep quiet and cooperate and you'll be back in your mansion before you know it. Bitch, I don't want to go back. I know, I'm like, I don't want to go back. <coughs> don't this complicated. What's so going to make this complicated is when my sister finds out that I didn't make it to Mistral. You know my sister, don't you? Winter Schnee, special operative of the Atlas military. She's in Mistral now, and when she hears I'm missing, it won't take her long to find me. And you. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. That's a good threat. <laughs> no, because it's an empty threat. What's right. so funny? <laughs> she doesn't know that she's going to be there. Oh, I don't know if it's more funny or sad. But you are clearly out of the loop. What? Your sister isn't in Mistral anymore. What? No Atlas personnel are in Mistral anymore. General Ironwood closed the borders and recalled all of his little troops and tin cans. No one is coming to rescue you. Uh -oh. What? That's not. That's not good. I don't like that. You need. It. This is perfect. We were stuck at a dead end, but now we can just take Monkey Boy Osman to Lionheart. Monkey oh, Boy Osman. Please don't call me that. Oh, We're not she's sure so that's cute. the best idea. Uh. Mm. But. I thought the headmaster's fault took Nora. their orders from you. I know. It's me that and my life. Intention. It's just great. For lieutenants I can trust, especially during times of reincarnation. But Crow told me about your meeting with Leonardo. He isn't just behaving irrationally. He's disobeying specific instructions I had left him. Something's wrong. So he knows Leonardo. I don't want to jump to conclusions. <laughs> yep. But I don't and want to pull out any possibilities either. No one outside of this room knows that I have paired with Oscar. But I think it may be best to keep it that way. Play things close to the chest until we get a better hand. Precisely. Now, we have two steps ahead of us. Still, I can't the get first the first is enlisting the aid of more head. huntsmen. But well, the Mr. doesn't own every huntsman in the kingdom. And I've been here enough times to know where we can find some more. So long as they're trustworthy. You can trust them to put up a good fight. I'll throw together a list tonight. Fucking hell. Good luck with that. Oh, crow. After that, we can move on to step two. What's step two? Getting you four into fighting shape. Fighting montage? I'm but down. We already know how to fight. You can only fight so long as you have Crescent Rose, but you're still lacking in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Truth. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ark, I'm glad to hear you've improved, but sorry to say you've yet to unlock your siblings. All oh, so sad. All of have a ways to go before you're ready to pose any real threat against Salem and her forces. And though Oscar can give me temporary control, you'll need to strengthen his body and his aura. Wait. What? Wait, we'll inherit what? inherit muscle memory in time, but practice will expedite the process. But if Crow's out looking for Huntsman, then who's going to teach us? Me! Well, I believe I was the headmaster of Beacon Academy. I love him. You're awesome! Approximately what are you doing? You are! If Salem were to plan an attack, it would make sense that it would occur prior to students' return. <laughs> It's All of them. It's Nora's just like, what the fuck? And John's like, ah, that girl. Don't expect me to go easy on you. I love it. Dude, I'm attracted to him. <laughs> oh, Oscar. Oscar is Yumi. You gotta be kidding and me. And Ospin is Yami. It's Confirmed. Great. It's great. I'm digging it. I can't even
Is she gonna like cut her rope? What? We can watch episode four though. Okay, we're gonna watch episode four. <laughs> okay. Because that was not a good place to end it. No. I'm like, I need more. What is that? Uh, more. <laughs>